Acute coronary syndrome, SES, is a syndrome where there is a decrease in the blood flow in the coronary arteries due to blockage. This leads to part of the heart muscle is unable to function or dies. This blockage may be sudden through thrombus or blood clot or over a period of time through atherosclerosis, which is deposition of fatty tissue in the artery. Acute coronary syndrome symptoms may include the main symptoms is chest pain, which might come in different forms, either heaviness, pressure, or burning. Either way, any person comes to the emergency with chest pain, acute coronary syndrome should be ruled out. Discomfort of the arm, jaws, and neck, or back, or stomach, especially in the epigastric, which could be radiation of the chest pain, or the main site. Shortness of breath, lightheaded, nausea, vomiting, sweating, and palpitation. Acute coronary syndrome is divided into three types. Unstable angina, non STEMI or non ST elevation MI, and STEMI or ST elevation MI. Unstable angina is incomplete occlusion and normal cardiac enzymes. It means that the heart has not been damaged yet, so unstable angina is not a heart attack. Of course, if unstable angina is untreated, it may complicate into non STEMI and STEMI. Non STEMI is incomplete occlusion and high cardiac enzymes. And STEMI is complete occlusion with high cardiac enzymes. You can see in the first picture, it's incomplete occlusion and it indicates unstable angina or non STEMI, depending on the cardiac enzymes. And in the second photo, there is a complete occlusion of the artery, which indicates STEMI. The diagnosis of acute coronary syndrome is based on the clinical presentation, ECG, and cardiac enzymes. In the ECG, the patient will present an unstable angina and non STEMI with T inversion and ST depression and with ST elevation in case of STEMI. A true ST elevation to fit the criteria need ST elevation 1 mm in two anatomical leads or 2 mm in V2 and V3 or new left bundle branch block and cardiac enzymes through the elevation of CK, CKMB and troponin. Treatment of acute coronary syndrome may vary depending on the type of acute coronary syndrome, on the duration, on the severity of presentation, and the facility of the center. Mainly, the main goal of acute coronary syndrome is reperfusion. That is achieved through either medical therapy or interventional. Medical therapy include dual antiplatelets, heparin, beta blocker, statins, nitroglycerin, AC and Arabs and morphine and interventional therapy may include PCI and thrombolytic therapy. We'll talk about the detail of treatment of each acute coronary syndrome type in a different video. Thank you for watching.